Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, good morning. How do you do? One more time. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Hey, hey, good morning, good morning. How do you do? We love you, fam. What's up, beautiful people? And welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With Us. Ba, 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 ba. What's up, beautiful people? It's me, Regan Jones Jr. We also have the family for another weekend vlog. Now, today we are going to the Rosebank food truck scenario situation, which, you know, is going to be fun to go and see and experience. However, I'm not a food truck person. So, you know, I'm going to try something else. But nonetheless, uh, my dear, are you looking forward to trying something out there? Like, what's your thoughts going to this whole scenario? Yeah, I'm a food truck person. I know the yeah. kids wouldn't mind eating it. So I we're going to take I advantage of what's available. I have something to say. Yes. I've been to a food truck before, and then it was actually very impressively very good. Okay. All right. And so. I have something to say, and I liked the food Yeah, we both went together. Awesome sauce. Well, we gonna see what all takes place. It's our first time here in Johannesburg. So, you know, the sights, the sounds, the views are what we gonna experience. And obviously we gonna take you along the way. Let's go. Yeah, gotta account for the earliness. One of our go-to spots for fresh herbal natural things for rains, eczema, allergies, and different things like that. We highly recommend it. 10 out of 10 to our friends. We just have to catch it when it's open. Hello, so we'll probably be over there this week, of course. But nonetheless, let's do a walkthrough of Rosebank, the top area now. There's the Rosebank area is a mall, but then there's also a walking plaza shopping center, as you've seen right now. And there is like a Chipotle scenario. It looks like Chipotle, same colors as Chipotle, but it does have a different taste than Chipotle. And there's the at Rosebank sign, just to let you know like where you are and all those different things like that. And going down the escalator is the a nice open area that you've seen us walk around and have the various restaurants like this okay great people so you can find the Krispy Kremes the KFC the McDonald's but then also the nice fancy restaurants and different things like that such as Tasha's which is Dr. Asad's go-to spot if you know him you already know and then there's other restaurants down there as well one day we'll just do a walkthrough but nonetheless we picked up something to eat at the news cafe all right and so here's the menu it looked amazing from the jump and then you know crystal loves pictures so she was loving this menu and they have a little bit of everything like truth be told a little bit of everything from tapas to seafood to burgers to steaks to grill items and then the kids look at them looking like they know what they're looking at but nonetheless all the way to desserts and then some nice drinks right you have the mocktails for those that don't drink alcohol which crystal and i that was one of the things well two of the things that we did get you'll see that later on and then just to give you a look in the feel of the ambiance this is what it is and then we were also told that it turns into like a club lounge scenario at night so we were like okay let's go ahead and eat and go they have a nice outside area for you to eat at as well but nonetheless our food is here that's the buttered chicken curry i'm gonna cut back to it the kids did get wings and fries Rain wanted the Great Tizer. Ricky wanted the Orange Fanta. I had the Tropical one. Crystal had the Berry one. When you go, you know what I'm talking about. And this is a sirloin steak that Crystal had. She really didn't like it because of how it was cooked. So we ended up switching to something else. That butter chicken though, get it. 10 out of 10. All right, so now we are going to the food truck scenario. You know, it, it just wasn't where we thought it was. But then after eating, we found out where it was. So here we are. You had to go downstairs from the checkers and the mall area you know for those that know no and here it is great people the street feast okay pretty cool name but starting off this is like a waffle type spot that they had going on like chicken and waffles regular waffles get a waffle how you want a waffle and then they had some other things as well it was a area to the side that the food truck area was white cocoa 
I don't know what it was. I'm not even going to try to assume. But then here's the mustache in there. They have like food, food on that one. So shouts out to them for where they are. And I'm sure you can follow them on Instagram or anywhere else to see where they're located. And then another a vendor as well. I forgot which one. I think that was the alcohol one. Like they had two alcohol ones and then the other food ones. Nice ambiance. They had chairs with the swing situation. I wonder if this is always there. We're going to have to go back and check it out one day. But nonetheless, like has some nice chair areas for you to be able to sit and eat and socialize with your friends. And it was probably about five o'clock ish when we went out there. So things were starting to shut down early. I told y'all Johannesburg doesn't play them games about shutting down, spending time with your family. And even the food trust was like enough is enough. But then they had a DJ over there playing the ones and twos. Here is the cha-cha slide. So interestingly enough, like Crystal was on the cha-cha slide. What she realized is that, you know, at, during the cha-cha slide, you say, turn it out. And that's when you like turn. You like, you're supposed to make rotations. This is to my people in Johannesburg, right? People weren't making the rotations. They were standing still as far as like looking the same way the whole time. And Crystal was like, wait, they not turning around. I'm the only one turning around. And so for my people in the South, you're supposed to turn when he says, turn it out. You turn around, right? You make a little shift. You make a little rotation. And you just keep going. It's just a 50 de 15 degree turn. And you keep going. But nonetheless, it was a good time, fun time. She was having a good time doing her thing. And then Rain wanted to do a little photo shoot scenario in the Rosebank Mall area. Look at that beautiful girl right drop in the flower backdrop. Okay, look at my girl. And then Ricky and Crystal jumped in that bad boy too, doing what they do, looking like a twins. Okay, and then Rain and Crystal started doing their own thing, doing their own moves and all those different things. It was having a good time. Like the vibes was on a hundred thousand. The DJ was doing his thing, playing all type of music, having the people going, moving, and having a good time. And so shouts out to them. And then we went to Checkers, in which the kids were like, "Oh, I want to push that mini cart." So shouts out to Joe Bird for even thinking of the kids in the grocery stores. Okay. And this right here, this gets me every time at church. Like these chicken mini patty pie scenarios. Oh my gosh. Rivers, y'all get me on these alone. You know what I'm saying? The word is good. The worship is good. But these patties are impeccable. And then here we are, great people starting off church. This is in the beginning. Nice screens, displays. They show the various things pertaining to service on the side screens. And it's pretty cool, right? It just gives you a informal way of knowing what's going on, how to keep up, how to plug into church, and the different news, which I think is fab tabulous. Today was worship service. Like it was straight praise and worship all service long, which was amazing. I didn't want to give you too much of it because, you know, I don't want any copyright, but it was amazing. I was able to get like two different songs. I was caught up in worship. And uh, funny thing is, this is like one of my favorite songs that they sing thus far. And um, I had the audio, right? Because obviously with the video, there's audio, but I heard myself singing and I was like, hold up, wait a minute. I can't put myself out there like that. However, Christ is my firm foundation, the rock on which I stand. If you haven't heard the song, go hear it. I'm telling you, it'll bring you to tears. Um, it really will. But nonetheless, great praise, great worship, great time worshiping with my brothers and sisters in Christ, y'all. All right, great people. So we just had a good time at church today and Crystal had Ricky's recap. So we're going to let Crystal share her or his recap. Uh, or, I don't know. Ricky, how'd you enjoy church today? Huh. What? Interesting. Why do you say what, Crystal? Because when I picked him up, he said, I loved it. I had so much fun. Uh -huh. I made a new friend. Uh -huh. We are twins. Uh, oh. Yes. Like, that was a twin? He's how? Like, how was he your twin? Because we're friends. Oh, so your friends are your twins. Yes. Oh, nice. Okay, Rain, how about you? How was church today for you? It was good. Okay, all right, girl. And, huh? Did you make any twins, Rain? No. Mm -hmm. But she did see friends from school. So that's always cool. And we had a great worship experience as well, in which I showed you different clips of. And uh, it was a fabulous time, I must say. It was a good time. Yeah, it was fun. They did like all worship today. It was like a special all worship service today. Right. And we did communion. And True. so it was really nice. Yep. We do communion on first Sundays. We'll explain it to you. 
off camera, right? Because it's not just a quick explanation. However, if there are others that are asking what is chameleon, y'all let us know in the comment section and we could do a quick short about that. But nonetheless, in it all, we had a great time. And again, we always say, find your church home wherever yes. you are, plug in with a group of believers and a community of believers that are like-minded as you, and you can feel safe, you can feel comforted, but you know we're with others that are going in the direction in which you're going. And so, you know, that's what we do on Sundays. And uh, yeah, we'll do some other things that we're going to take you along the way. Y'all ready? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Here's a little spillover for Ricky's birthday. He wanted a soup scenario, okay? And so here we are at the Woolworths because that's where we saw it. Shouts out to his grandmother. And so he is getting a jacket, a vest, and some pants. And y'all have to wait to see him try it on. Like, the boy was looking amazing and sharp at the same time. Oh, well, hey, look at this president. What you think, man? You like it? Mystery. Let me see you, man. Oh. <laughs> Let me look and see if they got this mess in us. Let me see. <laughs> yeah. It's the muscles, man. It's the muscles. Oh, you don't like it. It's okay. It's about to be dinner time. I picked up some cake from church. Shouts out to Rivers Church Santa because I also have this medley, okay? And so it is a chocolate, red velvet, and carrot cake for 80 Rand. You know, I feel like that's a good price to get an assortment of three different cakes. So I'm excited for dessert, obviously. But we're going to get into some Azenta. And for dinner, we have an assortment of vegetables. We have this a lamb that looks oh so delectable and some potatoes. Y'all know we love the potatoes in the Jones household. You excited for dinner? Yeah. I know I am. You excited for dinner? Oh, yeah. Okay. And to drink, we will have some appetizer. If you had it, you already know. And if not, I feel sorry for you. But when you come to Johannesburg, this is what you need to get. You get the views and you get the appetizer, okay? And the great one, too. So, Rain, you gonna pray for food tonight? Yes, sir. All right, do your thing, beautiful. Father God, I thank you that we will all have a good food and then we'll ha all have a good night's sleep and then we all as well, we will all have a nice day and then a nice night. And then I hope that this food that Mommy made and that God made with her, that it will be very good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, beautiful. All right, Rain, what did you say? Give a round of applause for Bobby! Yay! Okay, okay, okay. Happy plates, happy plates. Everybody has a happy plate. Ricky had like three plates. Rain had two plates and a lot of potatoes. And so uh, it's time to get some dessert, y'all. Uh -oh, oh, oh, yeah. And Ricky wanted the stony, so he's going to have some more stony. And you guys, today... If you guys, if Daddy wants to video this, we're actually gonna do a puzzle, a thousand Peace. pieces. Puzzle. That's right. Oh, We're gonna start it today. We might not finish it, but we'll see. Dun 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 dun. Look at how much my husband loves me. Yes, we saw it at the macro, and I said, Ricky, we have to get this for your mother. She loves friends. And uh, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to do something together with our friends. Wow, it comes in a bag like cereal. Oh my gosh, these are some itty bitty pieces. I must say I'm nervous, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Are you going to try to do this all tonight? I don't know. Oh, Probably snap. Not. Okay. Woo! Let's have to see how the progress goes. Oh boy. Let's see how it goes. So okay. These are what the pictures we're making this. This is how it's gonna look, okay this guys? Wait, wait, mommy, come here. Can I see it first? This. Mommy, now the hug. Like this. The, so that like this black part. This. So my little white child, that even the blue spot? This. This, this whole thing. What, this whole picture? These, yes. are, these are our partners, ladies and gentlemen. These are our partners. This is the same we'll So see the what best happens. thing to do is to do the edges first. I know, Rain, you like to start in the middle with your puzzles, but that's not a good tactic. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all the pieces out 
After we take all the pieces out, we're gonna turn them all over so they're right side up. This is upside down. This is right side up. When you see, when you see a flat piece like this, that means it's an edge. We're gonna separate all the edges, put them right here. You got it? You got it? So step one, turn everything over. Step two, step two, separate all the edges. Yes. Great people, this is going to be interesting because like Crystal said, Rain has a way of doing her puzzles and she doesn't like to do any of the edges first. And so this is going to be interesting. Um, I don't, I don't know how much of this I'll film. However, what we do know is it's going to be a, a situation. And it's going to be interesting. So let's get started. All right, great people. After an hour and 17 minutes, this is, um. let me show you where we are with this puzzle. I'm about to tap out. So puzzle wise, this is how far we've gotten. We had the kids to do various assignments and then they went off to do their own thing. Ricky went to go play his iPad, as you can see over there. Rain and started hers, they took their showers. In the meantime, I started working on faces. And so, you know, those are my contributions to the puzzle. Crystal's still focusing on these edges in which I was like, they can have it because the box isn't real good in depicting what's the edge and what's not like it's it goes all the way literally to the edge yeah, like ridiculous. this shadow is in the puzzle like it goes all the way yeah, it's ridiculous like the the guide is ridiculous and so i'm done i get a headache even just looking at these little pieces they are so small and they're pointless when it's like this like what does that even mean i don't know chris is gonna figure it out but nonetheless, this is where we are. An hour, 17 plus minutes now, and um, Ricky Jones is tapping out. And so the moral of the story of this particular video is spend some time with your family, find something that you all can do, that you all can appreciate and enjoy. Um, we started appreciating and enjoying this puzzle, but now... I'm it's the a, only one left appreciating and enjoying it. It's a one man show, but at the end of the day, what we did enjoy was the opportunity to spend time together, to uh, laugh together, to spend time together. So spend time with your family, no matter if it's you and a significant other, you by yourself, or you or your family members, be it the brothers or whatever, whatnot. I'm tired, y'all. I just want to say spend time with some people, okay? People need people. You're a person, you need somebody. Like this box says friends. How many of us have them? I'm riling right now because I'm tired. But I want to say I love you. Jones out. All right, for a little bonus feature, we did end up going as well to the Spurs, which was amazing. The kids slid down the slide. We were at uh, Santon City, and so the kids were able to slide down the slide to get to the Spur, which, oh my gosh, shouts out to you all for recommending this restaurant. It's definitely kid-friendly, but the food is amazing as well. The menus, per usual, are full of all of the wonderful delectables that are able to be eaten here in Johannesburg, South Africa. Like, oh my gosh, that mean you had everything. And the cool thing is they do have a play area, but then they also have screens to show the parents, the kids in the play area, also with an attendant. So highly recommend. The kids, well, Ricky wanted the chicken fingers. Rain wanted the grilled cheese, but then she started tapping into Ricky chicken tenders and they both said thumbs up. They loved it. We also had like this little bread scenario with the garlic. It was amazing. I had the chicken fried steak, half portion. Crystal had the fried mushrooms, this calamari, chicken, all this type of things. But she loved it. Ricky had the milkshake. You know what I'm saying? He feeling himself right now. Clearly. And he had the strawberry milkshake. And then this drink right here was amazing. It was like a summer watermelon rose. That's what it was. Go get it. 